Hello and welcome. In this short video I'm going to go through using the YUI compressor to minify a JavaScript and CSS file. Alright, in this example I'm going to be using a very small um, basic site.js file for our JavaScript file compression and a site.css file uh, which is just a very small again very basic CSS file and we'll be compressing that as well. And then, of course, I have downloaded the YUI compressor uh, version 2.4.8 jar file. Just to take a quick glimpse at the site.js file, I have it opened up in brackets here. And here you can see that there are just a few functions in here. Uh, and a couple of functions are commented out, so it looks like there's some old code in here. If I take a look at the site.css file, uh, we just have one style that's being applied to the body. So in this example, I'm going to be going through using the YUI compressor to compress and obfuscate the contents of the JavaScript file, and then to compress the contents of the site.css file. And we do this for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is to reduce the size of these files. And then also, especially when it comes to the JavaScript, we do it to protect our intellectual property. So if I've spent weeks or months or years uh, writing a complex JavaScript library, it becomes very easy for someone else to simply access my website that has these JavaScript files and then through the browser view the contents of these files. So by obfuscating this code, it makes it harder for someone else to go in and steal all the hard work that I've done. It makes the code harder to read. Uh, and again, as I mentioned previously, it, it reduces the size of the file, which improves the page load time. Now, YUI Compressor is just one of very many tools uh, that allow us to do this. Uh, I selected the YUI Compressor to use uh, in this example because it's just, it's nice, it's standalone. We don't really have to install anything ahead of time. So let's get started. Uh, to access and run the YUI Compressor, uh, there's no user interface. So we're going to actually be invoking that from the command line. And there's a nice little trick uh, that if I hold down the shift key and right click, uh, this can be done in a folder. I'm simply doing it on my desktop. It gives us this option when I hold on that shift key and right click to open the command window here. So I'm going to do that. And then you can see that we're already on my desktop folder. So I don't need to navigate into the folder through the command line. Now that we're in the desktop folder in the command window, uh, I'll be able to execute my jar file. Now these commands for the YUI compressor and, and how I'm uh, knowing what to type here is I'm going to the YUI Compressor uh, website and they have some great documentation. It's very basic, um, but they give some great documentation on, on how to invoke the YUI Compressor against files. If you scroll down just a little bit, uh, there's a nice example here and this is basically what I'm going to be doing right here, this command. So it has us enter uh, Java jar YUI Compressor and then specifying the file that we want to minify, that we want to compress and obfuscate. And then the output location uh, is well for that file. So the file we're going to read in and then the output file that we're going to generate. So let's give that a shot. Uh, so within the command window here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, enter that command. So Java and then dash jar. And that tells it that we want to run a jar file. And then the jar file, because I'm in this desktop folder already where this exists, I can use a relative path, meaning that I don't need to specify here C users, Gritzmacher, R, desktop, YUI compressor. So we're already pointing to this folder, so I can simply specify the name of the jar file. So YUI compressor dash 2.4.8.jar. And then the name of the file that we're going to start with here, we'll start with compressing the site.css file. So I'm going to specify site.css. Now I'm going to go ahead and execute that command and you can see what it does is rather than uh, modify the file, so if I view site.css you can see that this has not changed, rather than make the change to the file it just spits it out here in the command line. And of course it's doing that because we did not specify an output file. So let's run it again and this time we'll specify an output file and again by looking at that YUI compressor resource page uh, I know that I can do this by specifying dash O and then the output file. So in this case, I'm going to do site.css and I'm going to just o simply overwrite the file that's there right now. 
So let's go ahead and execute that command by hitting enter. And it looks like it completed. And now if I go over into brackets, you can see that it took this file and removed all unnecessary content. So it minified it, shrinking the, the size of the file, which is a very good thing. This is a really simple, basic example of a CSS file. So there's not a lot of benefit here, but you can imagine that if you have a very long file, well, lots of spaces, comments, tabs, uh, we're actually saving a lot of space by going through this process. So just by executing that simple command, I was able to minify my CSS file. So let's do the same thing for our site.js file. So within my command prompt, I'm going to use the up arrow to access a recent, my recent command here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to site.js instead of site.css. Uh, the command doesn't change whether we're compressing a JS or a CSS file. And then for an output, I'm going to specify O, again, dash O, and then site.js. Now before I execute this command, I again just want to talk about the benefit of doing this compression process. I'm just going to look at the site.js file, right-click properties, and you can see that this file is 766 bytes, which again, this is a very small file, but we'll see, we'll see by performing this compression and obfuscation that this size is going to decrease significantly. So 766 bytes, I'm just going to close that out and then I'll execute my command. All right, it looks like it completed. I'm going to go into brackets and you can see that it's removed all of the comments, uh, all of the tabs, all of the white space. Anything unnecessary has been removed from this file. So now let's go ahead and right click properties. And this used to be 766 bytes and it's been crunched down to simply 319 bytes. So that's less than half of the size that the file was originally. Again, we achieved that um, by removing all comments in white space. Uh, because YUI Compressor also does obfuscation to make the code harder to read, you can see that some of our function names and parameters were simply replaced with single letters. So that's just a simple demo on how to use the YUI Compressor to minify, compress, and obfuscate uh, your website code. Thanks for watching.